Hello friends, today we explore a controversial space project. Iran's newer 3 satellite has truly stunned observers across the sky. We will uncover secrets of the Qased rocket and satellite. So if you love tech and military power, stay right here. Welcome to your channel, I'm here to cut the fluff. Let's get straight to the point and see this iron bird. Before we start, hit that subscribe button to catch updates, because today we will analyze everything about Newer 3 very precisely. First of all, we need to correct a common mistake, guys. Many think Newer 3 is the rocket, but it's actually the satellite. The rocket carrying this satellite is called Kaset, a masterpiece. So today we discuss both the satellite and this powerful rocket. This successful launch happened in September 2023 and shocked everyone. It was exactly late September when the IRGC Aerospace Force announced that they successfully placed their third military satellite into Earth's orbit. This news exploded globally, showing rapid progress in space technology. Now, let's look at the rocket, the Kased satellite carrier. This rocket has a very unique feature that makes it distinct. Kased is a three-stage hybrid rocket using solid and liquid fuel, meaning engineers combined different techs for high efficiency and power. The first stage of this rocket uses liquid fuel, a classic. This part is inspired by Ghadar and Shahab ballistic missile families. Using liquid fuel in the first stage is common for liftoff, allowing the rocket to separate from Earth's dense atmosphere powerfully. But the real magic happens in stage two, called Salman engine. This engine uses purely solid fuel and is an engineering masterpiece. Why? Because its body is made of composite materials, very lightweight. This lightness allows the rocket to carry a much heavier payload, there is a cool technical point about Salman you must know. This engine features a movable nozzle, meaning thrust direction changes. This capability allows the rocket to correct its path outside atmosphere, and this is the cutting-edge space knowledge Iran has finally achieved. The third stage also uses solid fuel, but is much smaller. The job of this final stage is to push the satellite. This part acts like a final kick to reach necessary speed, so the satellite orbits Earth fast without falling back down. Now let's check the newer 3 satellite to see what it does. It is an imaging and reconnaissance satellite collecting vital data. According to commanders, newer 3's imaging accuracy is much better now. It can transmit higher quality images for military and civilian goals. If we want to compare, newer 3 is about 2.5 times sharper. Compared to newer 2 launched before, it has more advanced sensors. This means Iran can now monitor ground spots with better clarity, which is great for mapping and vital for intelligence and security. The satellite is placed in a 450 kilometer orbit, low altitude. This is called LEO, where most spy and sensing satellites reside. At this height, the satellite circles Earth quickly sending data. Its relatively close distance to Earth ensures clearer images are recorded. The movement speed of this satellite is truly mind-blowing for us. Newer 3 orbits the Earth at about 7.6 kilometers per second. That means 7.5 kilometers every single second, imagine. With this speed, it circles the globe multiple times daily. But what was the main goal of building the satellite? The main goal was independent space access for intelligence purposes. Being able to see everywhere from above without needing foreigners is a huge strategic advantage, increasing the country's bargaining power. Another interesting thing is that the IRGC managed the process, unlike the government space program which is usually civilian in nature. This shows Iran's armed forces invested separately in space technology, achieving a full cycle from building rockets to making satellites. A scary feature for enemies is Kased's mobile launch platform, Unlike huge rockets needing fixed pads and massive concrete facilities, Kased can be mounted on a truck and launched from anywhere. This means the enemy cannot easily identify launch sites beforehand. Regarding costs, this project is designed to be very economical. 
By combining existing missile parts and new tech, costs dropped. Using carbon fiber in the Salman engine reduced weight and price, meaning Iran can build many of these with little money. Let's flash back to the family history to understand better. The first member was Newer One, launched back in April 2020. That launch was Iran's first official military presence in space, showing Iran entered the global military space club with seriousness. Then came Newer Two, which was launched in March 2022. Newer 2's mission was technology stabilization, proving success wasn't just luck. Now, Newer 3 is here to upgrade quality and test features. This trend shows Iran's space program is moving forward logically. A technical point engineers love is the use of thrust vectoring. Controlling solid fuel rockets in space is hard and high tech. Iran solved this big problem by building movable nozzles for Salman. Now it can steer the rocket in space like an airplane. Global reactions to the newer 3 launch were also very interesting. Western countries, especially the US and Europe, quickly condemned it. They say this technology is the same as dangerous ICBM tech. But Iran says having satellites for peaceful goals is legal. Where is this project heading? Good news is coming, friends. The IRGC announced after Kased, the powerful Qayyem 100 comes. Qayyem 100 uses all solid fuel and carries much heavier satellites. Newer 3 is actually a prelude to bigger launches in the future. Why is there so much insistence on using solid fuel? Solid fuel means the rocket is always ready to fire. For military use, this means high speed in critical moments. Kased and Newer 3 proved Iran has matured in this technology. In short, Newer 3 is not just metal in the sky. It symbolizes engineering capability, deterrence power, and scientific progress under sanctions. Smart combination of missile and satellite knowledge made Iran serious, a player that cannot be ignored in military space equations. Thanks a lot for staying with me and watching this. I hope you gained useful info about Newer 3 and Kaset. If you like such tech and military videos, please like and comment which rocket I should cover next. Goodbye for now.